today I will show you how to make this cool text effect in CorelDRAW. First, of course, I need text. I'm using this type of font, uh, it's for free. Now I need three copy. I will use uh, the outline for this one by 8. I need to get rid of the fill, the fill. Now I have only the outline. I'm using uh, maybe five for this with this color okay now I'm using this one without outline now I need to explain something here with the color because we are using this color on this layer this color it's easy to make it I'm using just three color black and uh, the gray and the white I'm using two black and gray and white and I'm using gray and two black etc like this but if I use this uh, color directly you will see these lines it's not good for this layer how to get rid of these lines I don't know if you can see that but if you are working in your uh, computer you will see this light I will make another copy and you will see the difference how to get rid of these lines click the color of the layer interactive fill and you will see here another option smooth if you apply that option you will see very different there is no lines here so I'm using this color for the first layer of course with a different direction like this cool now we need to Put everything together and now we are ready to go to the next step now I need another copy from this one I will use contour tool like this perfect object free contour group apart I will use this color for this one and now I will use another object it's a couple of uh, square you can use uh, any shape you like but I like this one how to make this one I'm using a perfect square uh, hold uh, control and drag it like this and from those hooks drag another copy uh, like this with uh, holding control and right click and left click together like this etc you can use a uh, uh, weld and use uh, the blend tool with two of these uh, shapes and you can create this one now I need to use black color for this one uh, transparency I will use 90 okay now power clip inside this layer of 
Okay, now we are ready to go to the next step. Now I need another copy from this one. Without uh, the, the last object, I will use the contour tool to make another copy small, smaller than the original and break it. I will use black here and here I will use this red. Here I will use the transparency but with another trick. I will use the color black and white. I will use here black and the white to show the right color of this layer. Like this. Okay. I will use two black here. And another white here. Like this. Perfect. I will do the same with this one. But in different direction, of course. Okay. Maybe another black here. That too much. This is perfect. And now we are ready to go to the next set. Now I need another copy from the black one and the red too. Convert them to bitmap. I need another copy from this one as a bitmap. Now I will use the Gaussian blur. Okay. Here I will use the transparency. Okay. And this one, I don't need to use the transparency, but if you like, you can do that. Make sure it's in the center. And the red one, it's the upper color. Group them. Go to the center. Like this. And now we need to. Hold Ctrl and X. Click this layer and go inside and Ctrl V. E. And that's it. Now we need to make a small trick with this one. I will use uh, the art stroke. I'm using this effect. Here I'm using 8 and 6. You can change that if you like. I'm using the red color here. Okay, now all you can do is to put it inside or in the center. Now we have our effect, but we can use another copy, sorry. But I will use the transparency for this one to get rid of the black color I'm using maybe 30 something cool and this is our effect